at that thinking could I be any more grumpy? I'm sure you could if you tried. I'm trying. Hello welcome to our channel. Oh hello. <laughs> so we, um, <laughs> Did you not realise I was recording? Uh, I saw you fiddle about so you know. Wow. Here we are again. Yeah, again. It's been Hello a while. everybody here we are again. Your children. No. Don't we have an official opening? Don't, don't we do something that says Welcome or something. Excuse me a moment. Every time. Well, we have dogs. Dog hairs off your chin. They just dangle. Yeah. Um, yes. Hi, I'm Morty. I'm Brom. David. Welcome to our channel. Returners know this is a channel about cross stitch. If you are not a returner, if you're new here, you now know this is a channel about cross stitch. <laughs> if you are a returner. We're going to have to design a medal to give you all. <laughs> we keep talking about that. Hang on. Ah, that's better. Aha! The soft white. The soft um, light is a little bit... Hey, like, little I bit understand kinder. we've had a few new subscribers. We have. But first of all, well, should we well. say, you know, this is Floss Tube number 29. We've done that many. We've done that many. That's not including all the Floss Misses we did. Well, I did. In, we, you did. Well, you did some. Sort of. Yeah, um, you did two-sevenths of them. Okay. I take your word for it, I can't remember that far yeah. back. Um, welcome to our new subscribers. I would name you. I can't name everybody because some people keep their YouTube channels private, mm. their, their IDs private, and some people keep them public. But we've had about 120... Oh, bubbles. On you. Excuse me. Gosh. We've had about 120 subscribers in the last month alone. That's I like know. last 28 Thank days. you. So thank, thank you, you thank all you. for coming along. Um, I hope it was worth your while there. Uh... <laughs> Looking in. Let's hope today's one is worth the wait because it's been two months since we did one. Is it been that long? It has. Well, shame on us. Yeah, but in the meantime, I have published the Bristol Stitchy Retreat, which is getting a phenomenal number of views actually for this channel, and also debagging the chatelet, the enveloping, as, as Stitchman Darcy puts it. Enveloping. Yeah. And I videoed enveloping. starting the chatelet. You did, and so, it's looking all right. Yeah, well, we'll come on to that mm. in a minute. But yes, yeah, so thank you to all of our lovely new subscribers. Welcome on board. Um, hang on for the ride. <laughs> but I will say, it's my job to say, we love every single one of the subscribers that have been here for, from the beginning, whether you're new or not. Because, you know, what would be the point in us being the talking people that we are if you weren't happy to mm. dip in and say hello? And that's quite an important point, actually. Is it? Yes. Me making because, a good point. Because is a first. we are actually at, when I looked this morning, yes. 979 subscribers. Wow. Gosh. Which means we are only 21 subscribers away from 1,000. And you know what that means. Give away time! Give away time! <laughs> so, um, you'll have to watch through the video to see what, we've... what you need to do to enter. Yes to enter the giveaway and it will show who watches the whole video as well yes i think first one is be human be human so no elves no dwarves no no elephants no elephants or octopus or 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 mosquitoes no that's what we can't say no mosquitoes no no because stitchalonka's group of friends mosquitoes ah they, yes of course they can they can be mosquitoes yes. we'll be very welcome to join i've got to pull thread you have got to pull thread well spotted i've used my snag and to get rid of it but this is time this jump up should we do some stitching we really ought to do some stitching but yes so, so keep watching keep watching and we'll give you details throughout the vlog <laughs> of what the, the i'm just here to just to be there is arm candy yeah <laughs> Oh, you as you've got more stitching to show than I. Except that the one item we really need to show is sat on the table. I'll go and get it. Could bye you bye. get that and the cardboard with the things in from Karen, please? Gotta go. Gotta go. I'll be back. We also need to do something special in a moment. So there's the cloth. Just the no, just the piece of cardboard that's got one thing, five things attached to it. Yes, that, and the fabric.
on the way back. It's a bit of a journey. There's a bit of a journey. <laughs> Hello again. Don't need that yet. Did you miss me? Um, but do you need the other thing? We have a start and finish. As you would expect. Where's the bell? As you would expect. <laughs> Hang on. I got I'm not one. prepped. I've got one here. Hang on. There we go. Because it is quite. You sprung that on me. It is quite a small start and finish, isn't it? Ooh. Tell we're out of practice, can't we? <laughs> um, Rusty is the word. Actually, there's a few things we need to do before we get to there because we haven't gone. We, we, we've we mentioned the giveaway. We've mentioned our new subscribers. Yes. So the, the 118 that have joined, I don't know where you've all come from. Um, I know that we have had mentions in the last two months from CLU High Heel Stitcher, Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole, DNA Geekcraft, Frosty X Stitch, Hello Dawn, um, Jeep Girl Stitches, Mama Loves Your GB, mm. and just in passing, and North Island Stitcher. But uh, there just suddenly seemed to have been this really big influx. Mm. And I'm not sure it was because of Mama Loves Your GB's video, right. unless something was said in a more recent one mm. that I haven't watched yet. Okay. But don't you get a ding? Not always, no. Uh, okay. Unless, Unless the youtuber puts in at word morty and lebron uh, yes, in course. their description yeah. we don't see mm. so let us know drop a comment down mm. below in that little box down there yeah, we'd love to talk to you yes um mm. i don't always answer all the questions i usually leave a heart at the very least but um it's been a busy couple of months but would love to know where you've come from if you're new in the last couple of months mm. it might just be because we tagged it with chatelaines and what have you so indeed um, I've been watching loads of people. Yep. All of them that you've just said mentioned. Um, and also, um, Cross Stitch Cats and Chaos and Potty Mouth Stitch are two new ones to me. They're fab. <laughs> They're really funny. Yes. Um, you know. And um, particularly the dried fruit. Yes. And so so <laughs> Sof Sof's nice as well. Um, they're not just, yeah, it's freeze dried fruit. I've got, oh, here we go. Frost yeah, freeze dried. Yeah. Frost tube nose. Um, the other thing I need to mention is the under 1k subs club now it might be, might be really funny mentioning this when we are so close to our thousand mm. but um, oh my nose um, <laughs> those of you that watch Frosty X Stitch or who are on the circuit and, and have heard there is a virtual club called the under 1k subs club which applies to all of the Frost Troopers who have got less than a thousand subscribers mm -hmm. and there is a spreadsheet of who they are and what their um, um, YouTube handle is and what have you, plus the number of subscribers, which um, used to be run by, and I've forgotten the names of the two involved, but I'll drop their names down below. And they then handed it over, I think, to Dawn, Frosty Exit. And I've speak, been speaking with Dawn and I've agreed to sort of take on the majority of the running of it or the helping okay. of the running of it from her because she was finding it a bit much to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, so we will be going There's time through. in your day, isn't there? There, there will be. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. There, just shush, I will have to make time. Um, we will be um, going through name by name, updating it with who hasn't posted for a long while. So they'll be greyed out. Who, what everybody's current membership level is, will highlight who's graduated to the over a thousand club. And despite the fact that I'm nearly there, I will still keep it up because I think it's really important, really vital. So mm. also, if you know of anybody you think should be on that list who is new that I might not yet have come across, please drop their links down below. Mm. Or give us a, a name that we can go to. Mm. Absolutely. Now we can move on. Now we can move on. Cool. Great. Fully finished. We have actually got a, it's not a fully finished off, we have a SAF. Start and finish. Start and finish. A start and finish. In the same week. In the, well, it was, yes, it was in the same week, actually. In the same week. <laughs> um, that takes some doing. Mr. B and I here, room, had our 10th wedding anniversary. We did. Which is tin. Which and, is tin. Yes. Mm. And, and like all good people, we went and visited the tin mine. Of course. What else do you do? Yeah, but <laughs> except they're not tin mines; they've got people, copper mines. Well, they did tin as well. <laughs> they're mostly copper, but look, look, stop splitting hairs. Of course. So I stitched him something for our wedding anniversary. She did, and here it is, and it is Mo Anamkara, my soulmate. Yep. Um, lovely bit of stitching. 
Mm. I do say so myself. But the designing is the more important thing. It's actually designed by Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole. I have tweaked the design a little bit because this bit here, we'll see where you can't really see it very clearly, but this bit here, um, let me borrow your elbow in the next one, focus. Right. Uh, it should have a, a like a Greek key, Celtic knot, rope type effect, but I left it a bit late to start stitching and knew I wasn't going to have time if I did the full border. So I, I dropped the middle three rows, lowered it down one. I don't know what that is. I think it's a thread pulled through from the back. Um, there we go. Lowered it down one and just ran some silver thread through and put th silver thread in. Um, I'd actually asked Jen to design that for me. And it is available in her shop for sale because that, although I'm not wearing it at the moment because my fingers are too fat currently, um, your ring is absolutely knackered, mister. Yes, it's on our but, wedding rings. But our wedding rings, I don't think you can see it very clearly. His, is, his has got very, worn. very I, squished and worn. come off. But the wedding rings actually say Mo Anam Cara. Yes. So, there you go. In Stitched our in colours. Three, in 310 and 550, plus silver diamond, DMT diamond thread. Which actually wasn't that bad to work with. It's beautiful. To be perfectly honest. Now the trick is get it in the right frame. Yes. Well, that's why it wasn't an FFO. Yes. Or a Sappho. <laughs> that's a really bad word. Yay. Um, because I wanted his input in how to finish it. Yes. We could do something called a flat fold. Or we could put a little frame. Okay. There you go. It's your turn. My turn? Yeah. Well... I've been the complete opposite of a productive stitcher. Hello. Really? No, no. So, um, well, on one piece you have, or on another you have. You will be aware that I drive a truck all week, and I take. I have one piece that's permanently in the truck. It's called uh, Quaker. It's a Star Parade Quaker sampler, um, and it looked like this last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. Um, down here, when I was putting stitch one in, up here, I made a mistake. So all of this has been frogged. It's between five and six hundred stitches. So the sharp-eyed of you will realise I'm behind where it was last time. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, opposite of a bell. Um, however, it hasn't detracted from the fact that I love stitching this. Yeah. Oh, I am the Frog King. Yeah, I've, that crown is certainly on my skull. Um, but it, now, <laughs> we had a week off to do some, uh, I'll set that, to do some uh, wallpapering. And in preparation for going back to work, <laughs> last week I was at work, I forgot to take Quacker with me. So it was a week without any progress on it. Yeah, week with no stitching. He was bereft, actually. Oh, honestly. He was absolutely bereft. It was a waste. I had two rest periods of more than 12 hours. And it was just it time. Last night, but yeah, well, for one day it wasn't worth it. So that's Quacker. Um, obviously, it's I'm stitching it using um, Japanese silk FS49 supplied by Yarn and Fibre. And I'm stitching on a uh, Vicart. Oh, Vicart. A Vicart. Uh, it's Ada in rusty green. Rustic, rustic rustic green. Oh, I'm having a good day. Yeah. Rusty green. It's probably actually not far off really because the brown flecks it do look like rust. I'll give you that much. Thank you. Bail yeah. bail me out. Um so that just leaves the one other that I'm currently stitching. Um it's been a long term project. Have you not done anything on Roy then? No. Oh. Not since last time. What, two whole months? Two whole months. Yeah, I'll, I'll concentrate on this one. So, um, you, you will have seen this before. Thinking, this is uh, the... Are you immortal or something? Is it put on? Are you immortal or something? Why is that? Because it's the rate you're going. You ain't ever going to die because you're never going to finish it. There's always something to say about it. We agreed this be, this got to be finished before I... Know. I... I know. It's very good. You've lost my thread. No, oh, it's attached to the back of your work. Boom, boom. Ching. This is Textured Treasures. It's the Celtic Bee. And it looked like this. God, we're rusty, aren't we? Yeah. We're better than this. 
Um, so, but this is where it's at now. Um, the wings are all done. Oh, what a job. Um, the legs are all in and I've started the Celtic knotwork around the border and it's been great. Something I can just work on steadily. Concentrate, because I'm not good at concentrating. Um, I've had to frog a couple of pieces and do some stuff. But we're getting there. We're working up this way. We're going to go in up here, obviously around. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting it finished. Um, because it's... What? Looking good. Yeah, it's looking okay. If you thought I was going to say something, didn't you? Yes. What have you spotted? I don't think I've spotted anything. One thing Morty's got is the eagle eye of I've spotting the... One whole stitch out of place, oh, just... which is good because when I can't find it, Morty generally does. When when I'm looking through the camera, because of the way the light is falling, mm. I can't see the stitches there. Oh, I see. But they are there. Okay, right. so obviously this is uh, being stitched on a Spygart even weave, twenty eight count, and the colour is oatmeal. Yours. Um, I love stitching this, and I love the effect it has when it all comes together. It is lovely. It's, yeah, beautiful. Fabric's getting a bit stretched, though. So, Indeed. texture treasures. That's Indeed. it. Super that, job. That's me done. And the next time you come and have a look at what we're doing, I will have some Roy to do, because that will be finished. Yeah. You've got a couple of hours without me this afternoon. You can crack on. Oh, there. I've got lots to do. Over to you. Over to me. Over to me. Okay, where shall we start? Um, the beginning. Done a few things. Stitched on six things. Gosh. Seven things. Eight? Well, eight, including that, but I've got seven, one, two, three, four. Whips. Seven, seven whips. whips, one of which I can't show you. If you remember last time, go back and watch the last video. Mm. I'll put a link in here. Um I Mum's showed you I showed you some stripey I showed you some cloudy fabric with stripes and a bit of a couple of slopes. We've moved on far enough now that it would be too much of a giveaway to let you know. Mm. But I'm still trudging my way through stitching it and I don't know now if it will ever be released because if I'm struggling to stitch it it can't be that difficult it just must be because I've, I've spent time designing it yes and there are other things I want to stitch and do um isn't that the premise difficult. of why test stitchers stitch them to tell you whether it's because yeah. you aren't a good source of whether or not it's good I'm too easy invested to stitch. in the design Indeed. and whatever you've got to get it done regardless um, and one of the things that's become clear is that the the software program that i'm using that a lot of other designers use and a lot of other designers have complained about is that the colors that they pick for you to see on the screen <coughs> excuse me aren't a good reflection mm. of um the actual color so you really have, I've learned a lesson that you really have got to work with uh, designing it with the threads in front of you and ignore what you see on the screen mm. because it can be quite disappointing <laughs> when you start stitching and really, I think that's what my problem is when I realise that the colours are actually vastly different. Yes. Um, it was quite disheartening. Yes. Um, but that said, the colours that I had picked Actually, they kind of suit being much more muted in real life mm. um, because it gives an air of being slightly faded and sun run down. Sun bleached. Sun bleached. So what have I stitched on? I have done a little bit of stitching on a lot of things. So first of all, um, I working on the uh, Dragon with Embroidery by Nadezhda Kazarina for the hashtag Kazarina Dragon Sale. Um, weird cross stitch bunny, rogue mama stitcher, the violet stitcher, and Kate X stitcher. Um, I last time you saw it, it looked like this, and that would probably have been way back in January. Oops, and I did a little bit of stitching on it when I went to the Bristol Stitchy Day. So, and here's where I'm at. I think we need something behind that actually. One of these minutes, I'll get a nice board. My hand, no. Uh, Oh yeah, that'll do. Play it against that. There we go. So, last time you saw it, it had sort of this much done here. And I've worked all the way along here and up here and to there. 180 stitches. Cool. Currently being worked on a just a generic 14 count off-white Ada. Um, I'll pop a little picture up here of what it will look like. Remember, this is the one that looks like David stitching. Apparently so. Looks like the broom stitching. Indeed. Um, cool. 
Next. I, last night, deliberately dragged out of the pit of despair <laughs> and loneliness, <laughs> Nevermore by Lila's studio, no, Lila's studio even. And I've added a whole 114 stitches on it. Um, it, it, it basically looked like this last time, which is why I'm not bothering to show a picture. It looked like this, but all I've done is add three more rows. Okay. So the crow grows. The raven grows. Thank you. <laughs> Whoops. Quoth the raven never more. <laughs> so, yeah, having seen Stitchman Darcy finish his, I figured it was high time I got on with it. Mm. So, but there's just so many things. I don't want to stitch all the things. No. It's just want to stitch everything. That's not possible. Need to be an octopus. So, yes. I need to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I have that back for a second? The fabric I'm using is 18 count... Colour's really washed out on the screen, isn't it? Show the back, babe. Pardon? Show the back. Sorry. It's that way around. Um, yeah, the colours are quite I washed out on the screen, well. but it's um, it's um, it's a blue. It's, it's a, a blue. It's a grey blue. Sort of, with sort of brownie tones added to it, Completely but you can't washed really out it. to like a grey. Eighteen count Ada Feldspar by Picture This Plus. Done. Yeah. Good. <coughs> Next up. I have worked on Alluring Sorceress. I think I've done more stitches, but I'm not sure you'll be able to see where they are. So the last time you saw it, it looked like this. Uh, I mostly work on this as part of the hashtag Teresa made me do it, Sal. <laughs> and usually stitch on it when Teresa is doing, you know, Teresa Little Stitcher is doing uh, a live. Um, although it can be quite difficult to get any stitches in when you're monitoring the live chat. Mm. Or but, just even reading the chat. I sit and stitch while she's on and just watching the comments is great. Yeah. You just get no stitching done. It's great. But when you're monitoring it... Must be worse. Because <coughs> you've got to keep an eye on it to make sure. Mm. It's a bit difficult to keep an eye on it, but there are several of us that do it and I love doing it. It's a good laugh. Um, but this is what it looks like, that look, looks like now. We have, I think, added a bit more in... Oh, you need to come this way. There you go. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello. Um... I've added a bit more in at the top for certain. Um, probably that bit, but I can't remember what it looked like last time. Uh, 107, no, yeah, 172 Sorceress. The design is Alluring Sorceress by James Himsworth. It's been done on generic 14 count black aid that I had in stock. My Agnes little minder, minder is hiding over here. Let's bring it in. There we go, my little batty. There we go. Cool. Cool. Um, stitching on black, you good with it? Yeah, actually, it's really easy stitching on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I would have said the holes that. holes are so big. Um, it, it just, it just it seems to be easy to find the holes with that one because, um, I don't know, then just the needle finds the hole. It goes in really easily. Okay. More of a challenge stitching with three strands on 14 count later, but mm. and keeping it neat. The neatness is the hard part. Yeah, I've got to work on that. I'm yeah. just happy getting the stitches in at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> also up next is another lady, another fancy lady. Uh, this is the um, Lilith of Labrador. The artwork is by Nora Corbett. It's published by Mirabilia. I'm stitching it on 28 count even weave in Ocean Cove by Fabric Flare, which is really lovely fabric, actually. This print, this is what she looked like last time. Um, and this time, there we go. It's just more of the same. From the back, yeah. that negative space there yeah. looks like a dolphin. It's quite funny because she's a mermaid. Yeah. It's just, uh, whatever you say, my lovely. Yeah. I... Oh, right, the face, right, yeah, the, okay. The negative space. Yeah, but also the problem is the negative space for you has also got threads running across it, which other people can't see. Ah. So let me turn this around and show you what he's talking about. There's a dolphin's face here. It looks like a dolphin, yeah. And it's a mermaid. But it's a mermaid, yeah. Yes, still loving that one. Yes, looking forward it's to that one. a bit stripy for my liking, but... Mm -hmm. It's what happens when you're using variegated threads and you've got, yes. you've got to do one stitch at a time. Very difficult not to stripe it. But silks. silks See, I'm not getting that joy. I don't understand. I think it's because my fabric 
is so coarse. Mm -hmm. right? It's not a soft fabric with a soft thread. So okay. I'm not getting the joy of softness and softness. But okay. obviously you are. Yeah. Mm. So your first word for the giveaway is mermaid. Mm. Mm. Okay. And so what else have we stitched? Because coming up now is another mermaid. I'm sensing a bit of a theme. Yes. Running through some of my work here. Mm. Definitely. We're not attached to the sea at all, are we? Definitely the women. <gasps> I haven't seen it since you've... Gosh. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> okay, so um, the oh, last type. So next up is Siren's Lament, which is obviously a piece of artwork designed by Anne Stokes, and it's my heaven and earth design. Uh, full coverage, 25 count, um, even weave, easy grid. Da, da, da. Oh, hang on. Going back one. <laughs> 250 stitches on Lilith the Labrador. You wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> okay, so back to Siren's Lament. Um, I have managed, since the 1st of May, 2,249 stitches on cool. Siren's Lament. So she looked like this when you saw her last. Okay. And this time, she's looking... Do, do, do. No, she's going to have to come across in front of us completely. Here we go. We yeah. have a head. The top of the head is here. I'll give you a little bit closer. And the way you've got the threads hanging down looks like the continuation of a hair. Look at it that. does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not far off, actually. No, it's right. I'm perfectly it? honest. <laughs> but the head, we've got an eye. Um, I kind incredible. of, after having done 10,000 the previous sort of six weeks, near enough, I kind of got a little bit of burnout on it. Mm. <laughs> and I got to her head. Yeah, that's cool. Moving on. Um, Quite happy with that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, a hint of the, the ship over that side, isn't there? Because we mentioned the ship last yeah, time. Yeah, this is where the ship is starting to come yeah. in, just here. Mm. So interesting objects. That's to, the very to stitch. top top sail. The top sail, yeah. The top sail, um, and the, the top of the mast there. So there is some interest coming in, but mm. there have been other things that have taken my attention more recently, namely a certain wedding anniversary present. There yes. you go. Here we are. And last but not least, viewers to our channel, and quite a lot of you who are not subscribers, in fact, tuned in for the enveloping, enveloping. of the chatelaine, chatelaine and the starting the chatelaine where I put about seven beads in, mm. <laughs> in a short video. But. I am planning on doing more of those because you clearly like it. Um, it would be worthwhile doing some where there's, we're doing specialist stitches, but I do need to improve my setup so I can do some really sort of close in work so you can see what mm. I'm doing. Um, but here is where we are at on the Chatelaine, and it is different. So, actually, last time on the last video about the Chatelaine, I left it looking like this, and now looks like this which doesn't look like very much does it Can you go in <laughs> um i'm gonna try but what i'll probably do i mean this is what it looks like mm. and if i was to lean back let's lean back look at the size of that fabric yeah <laughs> you know you've got a lot of stitching to do <laughs> it's not the most flattering positions i must admit but that's one long frame it's a 40 inch frame by i think it might be lbc actually um I can get it a bit closer, but what I'll do is I will now drop in a picture of where I have worked. And you can see there's like nine different colours of beads around there. There are road stitches. There are dense road stitches. And there's also some gold cross stitch that's gone in as well. Cool. It's daunting, mm. um, but it's one stitch at a time. Exactly. So I've really enjoyed when I have worked on it. It's very clear I do need good daylight. I do need good glasses. And I need good camera equipment mm. so that I can video more, stitch with me on it. Um, I also need questions to be asked. So, your first of all, your second word for the giveaway is poison. So, yes. Mm.
and um, any questions you've got about the Chatelet, anything you would like us to talk about, or me to talk about when we do the Chatelet, that would be absolutely fine as well. Um, please drop them all in the description below. Um, but that is about it. A conclusion. Yes. Cool. A conclusion. I haven't done any more stitching. The only thing that I have got to share, you, you, you need your... Oh, yes, we need that back. We need that back underneath the pile of whips. <laughs> you have an okay. av avalanche of fabric in there. Um, so last time, in Yeah, May, last time we did mention that I had acquired, as whole, really, mm -hmm. um, a helping hand. Um, you saw it today on the top of Celtic Bee, but it's basically this. Um, this so the two arms up here and the bar. Those of you that are familiar with this piece of kit, it probably you know old news but it was new to me and it's just made working on the bee easier um it acts as my lighting bar it means that the, the scrolling is... the scrolling fabric isn't squished by the frame so the bar has a flat edge yeah there, rather than just all being round um and the idea behind it is it goes on the lbc floor stand and is clamped here so that you can freely move that without damaging the fabric mm. it's good and these little bits of magnets. Yes. These little silver dots here mm. on each side can be needle minders. Indeed. So that was your bit of haul. That is my um, bit of haul. I was sent some lovely stitchy kindness by my friend Karen. Um, let me just adjust that for a moment. Look amongst she's, yourselves. She sent me some needle minders. Fabulous needle minders. I don't know how easy I'm going to be able to show you them because of the reflections. The reflection, yeah. The, oh, there we go. The so they lovely. are tarot cards. And they're all, the, the meaning of them was all to do with growth and development, actually. It's really quite amazing. Mm. Um, but yes, so there's this lovely set of tarot um, needle minders. And they are actually double sighted. Although, obviously not now that a magnet's gone on the back, but yeah, the same image is on the back. double-sided. It's on the front. Beautifully made. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. They're fabulous. They're going to look really good, actually, on my cherries, which yes. needs to be worked on next as well. I know I said I was going to, and then I didn't. Plans and announcements? Well, I've got two bits of fabric that are now ready to go um, for, I think I've mentioned Starry Night. Looking forward to that, but rather a special piece to my heart. Looking forward to getting started on Starry Night. And I'm going to be starting something else. Yes, which we still can't talk about. Still can't talk about. But you have got the fabric. The fabric is ha ready. fabric is ready to go. The fabric's so, been ready for a couple of weeks now. Mm. Just so, need you to work on it. Get it on a frame and get it started. Yes. Once the bee's finished. Yes. So... The only thing that's left to say is, we, as, I, as we said at the beginning, there is um, lost for words, Morty. I just, I just they dribbled out the back of my neck a minute ago. Someone unplugged me from the matrix. Um, we're doing a giveaway because we're at nine hundred and seventy-nine subscribers. Now that bearing. Bear that, bearing in mind, I don't know why we've given them the words actually yet. We need to reach a thousand subscribers. Mm. So, mm. <laughs> yes. So, now that you've watched this, you've got two of the words. Mm. When we reach a thousand subscribers, we will do another video and we'll give you a third word. Mm. Um, cool. At that point, we'll also tell you what the prize is going to be. Yes. There will be two prizes. I'm not telling them what it's going to be. Oh, three, mate. Maybe three. Three prizes, depending on where you are in the world. So three people will have an opportunity to win something. Yeah. Okay? So keep watching. Spread the word. Get the small people. The, the thousand is because we'll be able to use the phone to do a live rather than having to set up the laptop because that's a whole other world to hurt. Um, 
never mind monetization or anything yeah, like that. We haven't, got like enough, that. we haven't got enough watch hours to... for that. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, exactly right. But it means that we can do lives from, I'd be able to do a video live from a from a retreat, for example. Mm. That would be quite cool. That'd be cool. Very cool. Yeah. Or from the car as we're driving to a retreat. I don't necessarily want to do a live while we're driving. You could. But if I'll there's try. anything you want us to do or talk about or, or show yeah. or teach, just ask us the questions. Yeah. We need all the questions. With that in mind, time for the worms. We hope you stay happy, wise and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell. Ding. Is that side? That's right. I think it's that side. That's that side. Ding. See you next time.